atrás e para frente. Thank you. I wish to thank you, thank uh, Jefferson, for inviting me to this uh, meeting. And uh, today I, I would like to talk on quantum systems uh, that are uh, out of equilibrium. And I, I will address the question of uh, entropy production and dissipation. Uh, okay, I will um, start uh, with the uh, Fokker Planck equation, the classical Fokker Planck equation which I, I write uh, in this form, using um, Poisson brackets. So this is the, the usual Frank, uh, uh, Fokker Planck equation. Uh, this is, the, uh, each term here uh, corresponds to uh, the contact with a, a heat reservoir. Okay, so um, I, I have uh, uh, several particles and uh, several um, uh, heat reservoir. So here I have one uh, one term for uh, each uh, heat reservoir, and uh, uh, J here is written here, and you see that um, there is a dissipation term plus um, a fluctuation term, and uh, you see that uh, P uh, is the momentum, so uh, the dissipation is in the usual form of um, proportional to the, uh, to the velocity. Okay. Now, uh, what, uh, in th this equation uh, indeed uh, describes uh, the contact with uh, several reservoirs. For instance, when, um, how can we see that? When the temperatures are all the same, okay, then it's possible to, um, uh, to show that the equilibrium the stationary distribution is the uh, usual uh, Gibbs distribution. If you replace uh, this uh, here, okay, then you, uh, J will be uh, identically zero. So it's um, just like a uh, detailed balance. So that is what happens to when all the temperatures are, are equal. And uh, we assume that uh, when they are different, then the system um, will be uh, out of equilibrium. So it, reaches, uh, it may reach the stationary state, but this stationary state will be out of equilibrium. And in this case, you will have um, production of entropy. Okay? And uh, this is what I'm going to, to talk later. But before that, I want to, uh, to introduce a quantum equation. And uh, how uh, I do that? I just uh, do... Um, um, a canonical quantization, which means to substitute uh, uh, the Poisson brackets by a commutator in this form. If I do that naively, what I get is this equation. Okay? Uh, I get uh, this equation here. Again, each term uh, corresponds to uh, the contact with uh, a heat reservoir. And uh, beta is uh, the inverse temperature. Okay? Now, uh, you see that here I, uh, I put uh, the symmetrical product, okay? Because P may not uh, commute with rho, so I, uh, I have done this. Now, what happens when the temperatures of the reservoirs are all equal? In this case, it's easy to check that this is not going to be the stationary state. So, um, so this equation, in the way I've written, uh, is not a proper equation for a quantum system. 
Okay, uh, to get a proper equation, I just substitute instead of P, yes. Before? Yes. This one? Yes, yes. That's right, yes. It's uh, uh, the, the, the probability current, this J, this probability current will be no zero in the, uh, in the stationary case when the temperatures are all distinct, are different. In equilibrium, this will be equal to zero. If, if, if the temperature beta here are all the same for all, for all um, the reservoir, then this J will vanish identically. Okay, each term will vanish. Believe me, that, that's correct. You can check that. After. It's it's like the tailored balance in the usual master equation. Each term uh, will vanish in, in equilibrium. Okay, so that's what happens here. But this will happen if beta here is the same for all uh, for all terms, which means that uh, all the reservoirs have the same temperature. Uh, yes, I forgot to say, this is a uh, probability, dens probability density in uh, classical, probability density, whereas um, uh, here I have uh, the density matrix, okay? Row here is the density matrix. You see that um, without these terms, this is, is usual um, Liouville, quantum Liouville equation, okay? This term. So uh, I have to add these terms to... Um, describe uh, the contact with other reservoirs. Okay, uh, so uh, replacing, uh, if this is a momentum, okay, uh, this uh, won't work, okay? So I have to replace P, okay, by another, um, by another uh, operator. So I, I, I write, instead of P, I write J, okay? And uh, I ask, what is the form of J so that I, I got the equilibrium, okay, in the case when all the temperatures are equal. And I find that J uh, is of this form, okay. This is complicated, but if you, if you do uh, an expansion in beta, and you see that uh, uh, J is going to be of this form. So when, um, in the classical case, all the commutators will vanish and you get, uh, 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 J equal to the momentum, okay? So, uh, if, you, if, you under, if you, we understand that this is dissipation term, you see that the dissipation term in, in this case, quantum case, is not just proportional, proportional to the momentum. There are other, uh, other terms, okay? Now, let me, uh, for a bad, better uh, understanding, let me uh, show what happens in the case when H uh, is uh, the case of uh, uh, harmonic oscillator, just one harmonic oscillator and just one um, uh, thermal reservoir. Let, let, let's see if I find here. Here, okay? You see that H is a harmonic oscillator. And then it's possible in this case to get that uh, J. G, sorry. G. <laughs> G is uh, proportional. Uh, uh, it's a linear uh, in, in the momentum and on the uh, position loss. Okay? But uh, and they are given by these two um, uh, parameters here. So uh, you see uh, easily that when um, uh, in the classical case, A goes to zero and B vanishes. Okay? So indeed you, you you get the classical uh, uh, solution. And uh, it's also uh, easy to, to find the uh, classic, the, uh, in this case, the stationary solution, which is the equilibrium solution, and you get what you want. H is going to be exactly this form. This, okay, so uh, it works uh, properly. Now, let me get back to... Uh, 
to that. Uh, well, okay, let me show again uh, another. Um, uh, no, let me go back to the place where I was. Um, here, okay. Uh, okay, it's possible to, to write uh, instead of using uh, X and P uh, to change it to um, creation and the annihilation uh, operators. And uh, the Fokker Planck equation will be uh, written. Uh, in this form, okay, where J is similar to, to the one I have, and G is going to be this, okay. So uh, it's possible to to use this representation. Now, uh, now I I wish to talk about uh, um, uh, about the, the um, quantum, the thermodynamics, okay. So. In this case, I, I want to define what is uh, the produ production of entropy. Because if, if the, the temperatures are uh, not equal, there will be uh, the system may go to a stationary state, but there, there will be a production of entropy. Okay? This means that the variation of entropy of the system equals the flux of entropy plus okay, uh, what is called production of entropy. So, to find this, I, I will uh, write uh, the quantum equation in this simple form, where d is the uh, um, dj um, describes the contact with the reservoirs. I here I have the reservoirs and the system. Okay, and I I will um, so now. Uh, here, I just have the system and just one reservoir. The other reservoir are uh, around, okay? Okay, what happens here? I am assuming that this is a, a heat reservoir and also a particle reservoir. So, there will be um, a flux of heat, okay, and a flux of particles, okay? The flux of particles multiplied, multiplied by the chemical potential will be the flux of heat of um, work. So here I have a flux of work, of, uh, and here a flux of heat, okay? And um, the variation of energy of the system per unit time will be just the heat plus uh, uh, the work per unit time, okay? And so I have uh, uh, this uh, relation, this relation, and, and now I assume okay, uh, that the flux of flux of uh, entropy from this reservoir will be uh, the heat, the flux of heat divided by the temperature, okay? This will be the flux of heat, uh, flux of entropy um, related to this uh, reservoir. If I have another reservoir, the temperature will be different, okay? So using this, okay, so I, I, can, um, I can obtain uh, the flux of entropy if I have um, the flux of heat, which amounts to no the flux of energy and the flux of particles. Now, I have to get flux of energy and flux of particles. Now, if I go to the Fokker Planck equation, I, I can uh, obtain these two uh, flux by calculating the variation of energy of the system. The variation of the energy of the system can be written in this form, okay, where each phi here is the flux of energy coming from a, a certain reservoir, which is from the Fokker Planck equation, is given by this form. The flux of particles is, going, uh, is given by uh, this formula, where the flux of particles is given by this that comes from the Fokker Planck equation. Now, therefore, uh, I obtain um, the flux of entropy in this form. I just use uh, the flux of heat is going to be the flux of energy minus the, uh, the flux of um, work, which is mu times phi, okay? Now, if I substitute this and this in here, I get the flux of entropy for one from one of the reservoir, then I sum, okay? So the main uh, assumption is, is this assumption, which is what uh, 
uh, this follows from uh, Clausius' uh, idea. Now, uh, then I substitute uh, uh, the flux of energy and the, uh, and the particles, so I get the flux of entropy in this form. The total flux of uh, entropy coming from all the reservoirs is going to be the sum. Okay, so that's the expression for the flux of uh, entropy. So this is the flux of entropy uh, from all the um, uh, the reservoirs. Now, that's the flux of entropy. I need to know um, uh, the entropy of the system, and uh, the usual assumption is the von Neumann uh, uh, entropy. Uh, which I write in, in, in this form is trace of rho, log rho, okay? And if I do, if I take the derivative, I find uh, this expression. And you see that it, both expressions are not the same, okay? So it means that uh, the difference is going to be the flux of entropy, okay? Of course, this, when the temperatures are all the same and the, and the, and the, the chemical potential are all the same, then this term log of rho will be, uh, will be H minus mu N divided by T, so this will vanish, but not uh, when the temperatures are, are distinct. So, uh, uh, if I take the, the difference, I get uh, uh, the production of entropy, which has uh, this form, okay? And you see that uh, it's, it's easily to see that um, uh, in the case of uh, equilibrium, when the temperatures are all the same and the, and the chemical potential are, are all the same, this term will vanish identically. So, um, so uh, uh, the production of entropy will, be, uh, will vanish identically. Now, uh, And uh, finally, I can, uh, if I, I write uh, uh, phi prime equal to minus phi, I can write uh, the, uh, the difference, uh, variation of entropy of the system as uh, the entropy minus the flux uh, um, to the reservoirs, okay? Which is the uh, usual form. Okay, so it, it, it means here that the entropy is not a conserved quantity. If it were a conserved quantity, I didn't uh, have this uh, term in here, okay? Now, um, <coughs> let's see um, now what happens uh, when I have just one reservoir, okay? When I have just one reservoir, uh, uh, the pr the Flux of entropy is just uh, given by uh, this term, okay? And uh, if I, I use, uh, replace the phi by the, the phi of E is just a uh, um, derivative of uh, energy of the system with respect to time. The same, it's analogous to the variation of energy. So I get this, okay? And if uh, I manipulate, you see that what I get is this form, and here you have uh, the production of entropy. When the production of entropy vanishes, then I have the usual uh, thermodynamic of the system, okay? So uh, this formulation in terms of, this is valid not only for the quantum case, but also for the, the, the classical case. So, and um, what happens if I change uh, uh, the temperature and the chemical potential um, by a, a small amounts, okay, slowly. Then uh, the production of entropy will change and all these terms will change. The three terms in here, the three derivatives will change. Uh, wh what happens is that um, uh, uh, the production of entropy will change in um, a greater order, okay? So uh, if, you, if you change slowly, then this will be zero, and then you get uh, the usual uh, quasi-static transformation in thermodynamics. And you can see this uh, here, okay? Uh, ah, f I, I forgot to say from the beginning that here, up to here, 
the temperature and the chemical potential are the temperature and the chemical potential of the reservoir, not of the system, okay? But in equilibrium, when this vanish, then uh, it becomes also uh, uh, the temperature and the chemical potential of the system. But in, in which sense? In the sense that these two quantities, this temperature and, and mu, will be the tangent of the, the surface, okay? And you can see in this uh, picture, okay? As you, you change slowly the chemical, the temperature, as you change it, slowly temperature and chemical potential, okay? Then uh, in this uh, space, entropy, energy, and the number of particles, there will be a trajectory here. So, and the, the trajectory will, uh, will uh, slowly uh, going into the surface, okay? And uh, it becomes uh, over this surface. And uh, uh, the, so the temperature of the reservoirs become the tangent to, and the chemical potential both become the tangent to this surface. And uh, it's possible to here to, to say that this surface is, has the convexity properties also, if you, uh, we uh, use this uh, expression. Now, uh, to, uh, to finish my talk, I just uh, want to, to say something about um, uh, the case where you have two reservoirs, okay? When you have two reservoirs um, in the steady state, uh, the two um, flux, energy flux will be uh, equal to each other, okay? I mean, the sum will be zero, and the particles, the sum of the flux of the particles will be zero, so that they can uh, write in this form. And uh, if I substitute in the expression for the um, flux of entropy, I get, and uh, using the fact that the, uh, in the stationary state, the production of entropy is going to be equal to the flux of uh, entropy, I get this expression, okay, uh, where Xe is the thermodynamic force related to temperature, to, to energy, and this is uh, related to uh, the uh, flux of particles, which is the usual form uh, uh, for the production of entropy in the in thermodynamics. And of course, if I, um, if I do an uh, expansion of the two flux, I get uh, the uh, relation, the, um, I get uh, uh, the usual uh, form for the entropy, okay? And, uh, uh, okay, uh, it, it is, uh, L, uh, these L's will, will be uh, the Onsager um, coefficients, okay? And, uh, uh, okay, the quantum harmonic case I have already told you. And now, uh, finally, I, I wish to, to apply, okay, for the case of two uh, harmonic oscillators, two coupled harmonic oscillators. Each one is connected to a, uh, a heater reservoir, okay? Okay, in this case, if I... Um, use all the, the, the approach that I have written before, I can find the flux, the heat flux, okay, which is uh, given by this expression, where A1, A2 are these, and uh, I can um, calculate when the difference in temperature is small, I can, uh, it's possible to calculate the conductance, and you see that the <coughs> conductance is indeed uh, uh, positive as uh, it should. Okay, that's the, the end. Thank you very much. <laughs>